The teen accused of hiding in the ceiling of a Qdoba restaurant after trying to rob the store appeared in court today. Aaron Maven joining us live in Glendale where prosecutors say that teenager scoped out the place before the crime. Ted, brand new court documents that we went over today are really revealing a lot about this wild standoff that happened a week ago. Prosecutors say that teenager left behind a gun and police found it in the ceiling, the same ceiling where that teenager was hiding for hours. State of Wisconsin versus Mark Lavian Williams. For the first time, we see the man accused of a robbery attempt that led to a standoff in the ceiling of a Qdoba. Count one armed robbery, count two. On March 13th, prosecutors say Marquavion Williams and another teenager held up the Qdoba near Bayshore after hours. When police arrived, prosecutors say the two ran and climbed into the ceiling. I've got access to the main uh, access point for the vents on the third floor. Probably monitoring them. Ten floor. We believe they're still above the vent here, but just keep an eye on there in case they... Prosecutors say during a standoff, police deployed pepper balls into the ceiling to get the suspects to come down. The complaint says when police learned Williams was possibly involved, an officer called him 48 times over about two hours. He didn't answer, but prosecutors say he did text back, saying he was sorry, afraid, and just wanted to go home. Prosecutors say the standoff ended after Williams and the other teen busted through the drywall to get into another business. His attorney pushed back at the armed robbery charge. I'm challenging the sufficiency of the complaint with respect to count one, the armed robbery. I'm, I don't see any, any uh, article, any item, any property uh, uh, taken from anybody. I'm looking at the complaint and there's a line that says the office video then shows the defendant holding a gun while IJG is on the phone and appears to be trying to open the safe. I have reviewed the complaints and I do find probable cause as to all of the counts. Williams didn't say much in this court appearance, but prosecutors say he admitted to stealing his grandfather's gun, a gun police say they found left behind in the ceiling. It is not clear right now if that 16-year-old girl who was involved in this crime will be charged later on. We did reach out to the district attorney's office for more information. When Williams talked with police, he did say that he did this because he needed money. He's scheduled to be in court again later this month. We're live in Glendale tonight. Aaron Maven, Fox 6 News. All right, Aaron, thank you.